is a three-time Olympian in both the Summer and Winter Olympics, who is now helping to pave the way for future athletes. Please welcome Felicia George. Hey, Felicia! How are you? I'm good. Thank you guys for having me. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much for being here. It's such an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you. So, so you have represented Canada in both the Summer and Winter Olympics, in track and field, and then also bobsleigh. Yeah. First off, Congratulations on that bronze in bobsleigh in 2018. That's so huge! Oh my gosh! Now, this all started though with you you running hurdles. Mm -hmm. So how did you make that switch from from summer to winter? Is it something that you just always wanted to con continue being active, or yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just love challenging myself in new ways. Yeah. Um, and so I was actually recruited. They were like, you know, do you want to come out and try to become a winter Olympian? And yeah. at first I was kind of like, I'm a summer Olympian. Yeah. There's no way, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just thought like this could be a really cool chap new chapter for me. Totally. And so I just took the challenge head on. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, that would literally. be skeleton. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, literally. literally yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is so amazing. Now, I, I love your your motto. You you talk about um, it's inspired by Muhammad Ali. Mm. It's do something today that your future self will thank you for. So what advice do you give um, female athletes in particular who are maybe trying to get into what is what is considered to be a more male dominated sphere? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I just really believe in going after your dreams. Yeah. I think you have something in your heart that you really want or a vision that you have. Yeah. And I just really believe in going after it. I think when you follow your dreams, that's your biggest service and contribution to your community. Yeah, I, I, yeah. And having the courage to go after that. And so for me, I always just said, dream big. Mm -hmm. It's really a matter of expanding your mind and just going for it. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. I, now, the first time you switched from track and field into bobsleigh in general, um, was it like, I, I'm an indoor cat, especially when it comes to cold weather. Yeah. So was that just like a total shock? Because going from, again, competing in the Summer Olympics to mm -hmm. the winter, it's completely different. It's a completely different climate, different atmosphere, different everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm a summer girl too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a summer girl. And so I think that was a little bit of my hesitation in going into it. Yeah. Um, but you get used to it. I think that's a beautiful thing about the human body. We're so adaptable. You yeah. learn how to, and I got to visit all these really cool places mm -hmm. and learn all these new skills. Mm -hmm. Um, and the really cool thing, actually, the first time I, start, I, I work with a fund called Can Fund. Yeah. And the very first time um, during that transition, that's when they, they started supporting me and making that, you know, accessible to me and available. And I had to, like, relocate myself. Yeah. And because I had this extra funding from Can Fund, mm -hmm. I had that opportunity. And then I went on to win a bronze medal no and I became deal. the first Canadian black woman to be a summer and a winter Olympian. Oh, Olympia. that's a thing. You know? such a huge issue for athletes. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that a lot of people when we're watching the Olympics that are, or even just watching sporting events in general, you don't really think of, yeah. but there are so many additional costs that come in hand with being a professional athlete. So can you tell us a little bit about Can Fund and how this organization kind of helps people? Yeah, Can Fund mm -hmm. is amazing. They're really about helping people make their dreams come true. Yeah. Um, and so every athlete that gets funded gets $8,000. Okay. And the really cool thing is they have charitable status. Yeah. And so when you donate, you get a tax receipt. Nice. But you also get to find out the athlete that you're supporting. Oh. So what I love is it's like it feels like you're coming along the journey. Yeah. Right? And so it's like you're not just watching on TV anymore, but you can really feel like I was a part of their success. Yeah. And I, I think that's a really cool opportunity, mm -hmm. right? And um, we're actually having a gala on February 28th in Toronto, uh, Fairmont Royal York, yeah. and it's celebrating 20 years of investing in the best talent in Canada. Wow. Um, there'll be 50 athletes there. You get to mix and mingle, yeah. there's a cocktail reception. <laughs> um, and so, you know, it's really just an opportunity to celebrate everything that we've been doing yeah. and ensuring we had 905 athletes recently apply. Wow. Right? Wow. And so the, we're raising funds for those athletes so that they can be at their best on the world stage. Mm -hmm. And for me, I know the struggles that I had to go through, and I want to make sure that the athletes coming up have the resources that they need. We have a website, canfungala20.com. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. If you guys want to buy a ticket, if you want to buy a table, if you want to just support to the gala yeah. um, goal, um, yeah. That is fantastic. <laughs> Felicia, you are such a huge inspiration, and it's so amazing seeing you pay it forward in this way by working with CanFund, again, helping them raise money for future athletes. Thank uh, you. Amazing. Again, yeah, Canadian anthem, every Olympic. Let's hear it. Oh, it. <laughs> yes, I love it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.